What's up? This is Jordan Wagner with PremierGuitar.com here with Wesley DeVore of PreSonus, and she's going to talk to us today about some new products that they've got coming out for 2010. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no problem. So I guess the first thing we'll talk about is the new control panel slash editor librarian for the Studio Life 16. Uh, this will be available free for all Studio Life 16 owners, and uh, it's coming soon. The cool thing about this, if you want to step over here, is it offers bi-directional control. So when I move a fader here on the Studio Live, it's moving on the screen. You can also do the same thing on the screen. So if I solo everything, everything is soloed. This allows you to back up your scenes from your Studio Live, uh, scenes, channel strip presets, effects, all of that. Back it up from the Studio Live memory into your computer's cache memory, store it there, and then push it back down to the Studio Live if you want to take the Studio Live away from the computer but you can access any of the scenes that are on, saved on your computer simply by dragging and dropping. Same thing with your fat channel settings. You can simply just drag and drop it over on the, either on, on the top of the entire channel or each component of the dynamics package, the gate, the compressor, and the EQ individually. Um, we have a channel overview that allows uh, you to see a graphic representation of uh, what you're doing to the EQ. And of course, you can click and drag that and make your changes with your mouse if you prefer. Same thing with the compressor and the gate. Uh, we've done a, a revamp of our uh, auxiliary uh, inputs router. So you now have a graphic patch bay. And of course, uh, the noise gate expander switch, uh, we've taken out of the system menu. It's still in the system menu, but you can also access it now through the control panel. And of course, your lockout mode. Um, this should be available fairly shortly. It'll be a free download uh, for Studio Live owners at personas.com. Um, we've also added, yeah, we're adding a, a new 24 channel mixer. That's uh, new at the show. Um, it has all the same great features of the Studio Live, just with a few little extras. Uh, you have 24 channels, of course, instead of 16. That means you have 24 preamps, 24 line level inputs, and 24 inserts. Uh, because we have the extra encoders and meters, we can add, uh, make the fat channel even fatter. Um, we've added a full featured gate with a frequency key filter, a threshold range attack release. We have a key listen option, so you can listen to what's being gated out. And you can turn that gate into an expander with the push of a button. We've added a variable threshold to our infinite limiter. And uh, the four band EQ on the 24 channel is fully parametric with full Q control over all four bands and a master on off switch. To our auxes, the 10 auxes here, we've added a flip mode. So, in addition to the 24 channels, um, you can add in your um, firewire return, your tape input, your two analog aux inputs, either of the internal effects or your talk back, and you can add each of those in individually into your um, aux mixes. The 24 channel, uh, the Studio Live 2442, will also um, come with a graphic EQ, four stereo graphic EQs that are user assignable. And they're actually split mono, so you can have a, a different um, EQ on the left side than the right side, and they're assignable to either your subgroups, your mains, or any of the 10 auxes. Uh, the Studio Live 2442, um, it will be 32.99, and it will be available around the end of the first quarter, so say March, April-ish. Um, our big uh, news at the show is, of course, Studio One, because we've never shown it at a trade show in the United States. Studio One is, of course, our DAW. Um, that we've been uh, including with all of our interfaces for quite a, for about four months now. Of course, and shipping the pro version as well. Uh, Studio One um, was designed by two industry leaders, uh, Wolfgang Kundras and Matthias Juwan. They were the masterminds behind New Window, and this is the DAW that they always wanted to make. So. Um, from when you open up Studio One, you're guided to a start page. You can create new songs, new mastering projects, open existing songs, and you see all the recent files you've been working on. We also have a suite of videos and demos that come uh, included with that. Now, if we open up a new song, um, we're taken to our arrange window. And the whole principle in Studio One is to free the, your mind for music. So you don't have to, the technology moves out of your way, lets you stay in the creative moment. So if I want to drag a sound in, I go down to my browser window, simply drag in the sound, drag and drop. If I want to add an effect to that sound, I drag and drop the effect right onto the sound. 
I can either drag the default setting of the effect or I can drag in a preset. Now what's happening underneath the hood is it's actually inserting those effects right onto your mixer. So you don't have to do that, it does it for you. The other great thing is it will create effect sims for you. So I like a reverb on this drum loop. I add it to my send and now I have an effects bus. So if I drag in another audio file, I actually ha can add in that mix verb onto that scene. Cool. You can also uh, add, uh, uh, I can group channels very easy. I can also add a bus for the selected channels just like that. So the whole idea is workflow, it keeps you in the moment. Uh, new at um, the version 1.1, we've added uh, user definable key commands as well as dynamic time stretch. Of undo history, which starts the undo from the moment you open the application uh, versus from the last time you saved. Because sometimes you work on something all day, you save all day, and you're not quite sure that you did the right thing. So this lets you uh, go back to when you opened a song. Um, we've also um, added two new features to our instruments. Um, let's go here. Impact, which is our sample drum player. You can now drag and drop an effect straight onto the pad and it'll assign it to one of the stereo outputs That's that it's assigned it to, rather than having to go to the mixer, find the output, and all that. Um, we've also, to our presence player, which is our sound font uh, instrument, we've added a suite of effects built into the plugin, so you can add in modulation effects, EQ, panning, delay, reverb, gate, which is a beaded gate that's great for pads, and distortion without having to uh, leave where you are at the moment to our project window, which is our mastering suite that allows you to dra actually drag in song files um, that are not rendered yet. You can drag in Studio One song files and um, Studio One will ask you if you want to update it and you can build your session from that way. Um, and because of that, it preserves all your fades and, and uh, your volume changes. To um, our project window, we've added um, metadata tags for each song that you can program from here. Of course, you've always been able to burn uh, CDs, burn a disk image, and make a digital release by converting it to MP3. We've made it that much simpler. We've, by partnering with SoundCloud, you can now uh, convert the, so the entire CD to MP3 and upload it straight to your SoundCloud account with the push of a button. So all within Studio One, you can pr make your production, do your mixing, do your mastering, build your CD, and upload it to SoundCloud and distribute it over the internet without ever leaving Studio One. And 1.1 should be available shortly. Uh, the current version 1.0.2 is available in stores right now. Great. Thank you so much for your time. And where can people find more information about it online? Um, all information is at personas.com. And we have a blog there that with tutorial videos and all sorts of things. So take a moment, explore around, have some fun. Great. Sounds awesome. Thank you. This is Jordan Wagner, and you're watching PremierGuitar.com.